You set up these hubs. Tell us about these hubs. The hubs partly responsible. It was one big virtual hub. So our kids were out of schools, right? You know, right. our families for a very long time, whatever my personal views, again, around school reopening, it was really around listening to families and our families didn't want to go back, right? 70% still didn't want to go back at the end of 2020. So everything that we did was virtual. So it was a citywide hub and our parents and our kids were literally attending school, the regular school um, from nine to three and then participating in our hub from 3.30 to six. Tell, tell us about the hub for people so who don't the way know that the Yes. So the hub is what we call this integration of both the academic and socioeconomic needs and aspirations of families. And the reason why I start with that is because there's a, a core academic component, but there also is a huge component of building the skills of parents as well. Um, so parents, we had parents um, learning technology skills. We had parents going back and getting their GEDs. We actually had some family parents going to get their BA degrees. But the hub also had a huge academic focus on reading um, and on literacy and math and science. Many of our kids lost access to science during the pandemic, especially if they weren't in schools. So we partnered with Berkeley's like Lawrence Hall of Science. Mm. Our kids were getting science kits and learning science. This was some, in some cases, Andy, this was the first time that our families were experiencing education privilege. Mm. I just want to like stop and name that. We had kids doing, you know, animation. We were working with the um, the guy who was like the animation lead for Bob's Burgers, right? We had kids doing art. We had science. We had martial arts, right, and cooking. This was all in our hub, right? We called it the porterhouse state. 